guys, it's Emma. So today what I have for you is something that will hopefully make you guys be able to know me a little bit better. So it's the 10 questions tag. First question I have is, what do you order at Starbucks? Um, at Starbucks, I order two things that are regular. I order a peppermint hot chocolate, which, I'll be honest, I order even when it's warm outside because it's so good. And my newest addition to my Starbucks order is a salted caramel mocha frappuccino. And <laughs> that thing is so good, I could drink it all of the time. I really could. You think I'm joking. Question number two. What is one thing in your closet that you cannot live without? That would be this. Sweater. Um, this is a sweater from Talbots, and I got it a little bit ago, but I actually got it thrifting, so I only got it for a couple of bucks, and it's so comfy, it's my newest favorite thing, it's actually more of an orangey peachy color than what you can see in the video, but it's so nice, it's not too long, and I just love it. I wear it as much as I can without looking like I'm dirty. Question three, what is one thing about you that people don't know? Most people don't know that I struggle and deal with anxiety and I have since a really young age. So something that I usually do is I have recently gotten into YouTube more so that's hence this video and just things that distract me and I've gotten a lot better with it but sometimes it still kind of creeps up on me and gets me. So, um, question Question number four, what is the guilty pleasure that you have? My guilty pleasure is probably watching videos on YouTube. Now, whenever I'm in a bad mood, I always want to be cheered up. So I love watching my favorite YouTubers that are always happy and they always put me in a good mood. And hopefully that's something that I can do for you guys. So I hope that's something that I can help you do. Question number five, what is one thing that you want to do before you die? Now, something that I think a lot of people want to do is just travel and that's something that I really 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 want to do and live abroad and even live in different cities in the United States I just want to live in Chicago New York just everywhere that I possibly can and I just really hope that I be able to do that one day question number six if you had advice for your younger self what would it be and why um for myself I would probably I always cared what people thought of me too much, and so I'd probably say, stop caring so much, it doesn't matter. Like, people that I went to middle school with that used to, like, make fun of me or do anything like that, I don't even remember half of them. So, <laughs> that's obviously just a drop in the bucket for me, and it would be the same for you. So I give you that same advice if you're struggling with the same things that I did when I was younger. And just don't care so much, because honestly, those people do not matter at all. And the only thing that matters is if you're happy and you're just doing what you want to do. Like, do your thing. doesn't matter what other people are doing. They can do their own thing and you can do you. What is a quote that you live by? Which actually ties into the last thing that I just answered. Um, something that I really love is poetry. So I'm really into... Ooh, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm really into... Walt Whitman and he's like an older poet that isn't around anymore but you guys should totally check him out. Um, Tyler Knott Gregson is also a great one um, and I don't know so my favorite quote I think I would ha if I had to pick one would be by Walt Whitman and it would be I am me and that is enough. Now there's a couple variations of that that people say but it's that's pretty much what it is and it always just tells you just be yourself and that's enough like just doing things for yourself is more than enough and that's more than what you ever need to do so don't worry about what other people think of you who cares question eight what is your favorite color my favorite color is purple and it has been ever since I can remember because that's my dad's favorite color so of course as a little kid I copycat him probably a little bit but I absolutely love it to this day still and my body pillow, as you can see in the back, is this is like a lighter purple-ish, and it's so fuzzy and so soft, the pillowcase for it, and it's perfect, and the second I saw it, I was like, gotta have it. Ow. Ow. 
always hurt myself. No. Question number nine. What is your favorite number? My favorite number is seven, and I have no idea why. Yeah. Question number ten. Um, what is your number one listened to song on iTunes? Probably right now, it, not probably, definitely right now, it is Story of My Life by One Direction, and they just released the music video for that. It was perfect and amazing and everything wonderful in the world, and I just love it, and it has been on repeat on my phone when I walk class to class since probably, like, what's today, Wednesday? Probably, like, last Wednesday. I think today is the first day in like a week that I have not listened to that song on repeat. That's my video for you guys today and I hope you guys learn more about me. Sorry about the bass. My neighbor is a DJ and he's working on a playlist right now. But I really hope you guys learned more about me and I really want to learn more about you guys. So if you want, post a video response. I would love to watch them make some comments, whatever you want to do, and be sure to give it a thumbs up for me if you liked the video, and subscribe if you want to see more from me, which I hope you do. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, or evening, or night, or wherever you are, and know that I love you. Goodbye! hope that you guys learn a lot, so... Uh, YouTube. Now, this always distracts me, and it gets me in such a good mood, Just wait till it gets quiet. So, so, oh, you wanna know? I came home from class today and I had this like cut on my hand, and I was like, where did that come from? I didn't even like feel it. Like, I'm so, like, clumsy, I swear.